Hello and welcome to the 2024 Dallas Singles Crokinole Championship, a Tier 3 National Crokinole Association event. I am particularly excited for this tournament because there are tons of great players and good people from the Extra Pine Crokinole Club extensions who don't often get to compete in NCA sanctioned events. However, with new Tier 2 and 3 events around the globe, it gives a lot of these players an opportunity to get their stake in the standing. So with that, let's get into it. From the preliminary round, six players moved on to the A pool. We had Mark Harper, Mark McCleary, Joshua Malloy, Robert Roche, Paul Olson, and Justin Frerich. You'll notice a lot of these players are unranked. That is simply because they have not competed in a National Crokinole Association event yet this tour. After this tournament, these players will respectively land around the 30th to 40th position in the standings. Of these competitors, four moved on to the semi-final round. And in these matchups, we have Joshua Malloy versus Mark McCleary, as well as Mark Harper versus Robert Roche. In our first semi-final match, which is out today, we have Joshua Malloy versus Mark McCleary. Joshua Malloy has been active in the NCA since 2023, however, has other Crokinole accolades under his belt, including being the first ever Texas State Crokinole champion. He placed 10th in the most recent US Open doubles alongside Justin Frerick and placed 12th in the Extra Pint Crokinole Club singles tournament. Up against him is Mark McCleary, who has also been active in the NCA since 2023. He is the returning Dallas Crokinole singles champion looking to reinstate his title. He also competed in the World Crokinole Championships in 2023, placing 12th in doubles alongside Ian Witt and placing 27th in the singles competitive division. This matchup is sure to be a doozy and you can watch that match now on our channel. In our second semi-final match, we have Mark Harper versus Robert Rosh. Taking a closer look at Mark Harper, he is from the Greater Kansas City Crokinole Club, the only competitor in the semifinals not from the Dallas or Houston extensions. He competed at the World Crokinole Championships this year and placed fourth in recreational doubles, which has lots of heavy hitters, so certainly not an easy feat. He is also the champion of the Greater Kansas City Crokinole Club Championship that happened in June. With lots of accolades under his belt, he is looking for a win at this tournament. Up against him is Robert Roche, who has quite a few accolades under his belt himself. He placed third in the Texas State Crokinole Championships and is also the reigning champion of the Texas St. Patrick's Crokinole Tournament. He has also competed in a few NCAA events, including the Elmira Winter Classic, which draws in lots of top competition, as well as the 2024 US Open. This second semifinal match will be out this Thursday, August 22nd, at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Tune into both these semifinal matches and see who moves on to the finals match of the Dallas Singles Crokinole Championship, which will be out Saturday, August 24th, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. With that, here are other National Crokinole Association events to watch out for. On September 14th to 15th, we have the Crokinole World Cup, both singles and doubles happening in Budapest, Hungary. The coverage of these final matches will be on the Chevedos Crokinole YouTube channel, and I will be doing some of the commentary there, so make sure you tune in. The weekend after that, September 21st, is a loaded day with not one, not two, but three National Crokinole Association events. First, we have the Belleville Crokinole Championships happening in Belleville, Ontario. This is a Tier 1 singles event. You can tune in to Tracy Boards to watch the coverage of this tournament. Secondly, we have the Brooklyn Crokinole Championships, which is a Tier 2 doubles tournament happening in Brooklyn, New York, also September 21st. Finally, recently announced, we have the Greater Kansas City Crokinole Classic, a Tier 3 singles tournament happening in Blue Springs, Missouri. Needless to say, there is tons of Crokinole action coming your way. If you are looking to compete, you can find sign-up information on the National Crokinole Association website. Make sure to tune in or sign up to compete in these tournaments. With that, enjoy the Dallas Singles Crokinole Championship Series and make it a great day. Happy flicking.